Hello, snowboarders of the internet. I'm your host, Averin Lefebvre, and in this video, we're gonna be reviewing the Drake 50 Binding. I rode this board at Copper Mountain on a sunny bluebird day. There was perfect corduroy, a little chop and chunder, some leftover pows, zero winds, warmer temps, and I rode it on my Ride Shadow Band snowboard with my K2 Thraxxus boots. All right, so when it comes to adjustability, you got flip tabs on the toe and the heel, flip it up, twist it, loosen it, lengthen or shorten the straps based on where you need it. The toe ramp has three holds to slide it forward or backwards and screw it back in. You do have push tabs on the toe, so pop it down, pull it back up. These are a set it and forget it. You cannot adjust these on the fly. The heel cup has a number two screw on it to loosen it, to lengthen or shorten the heel cup. I really don't know what these do. I took them completely out and whacked them as hard as I could. That heel cup did not move at all. And then you have your forward lean adjustment as well as three placements for the high back to rotate it. That's everything for adjustability on this binding. When it comes to the straps, the toe strap is bulky and it's got this weird cutout that I'm really not sure what boot that actually fits. I do know that you have to adjust the pin system to pull it back and then lengthen the strap to try to get it to fit over your boot like a toe cap. Otherwise it really doesn't fit that well. The heel strap has a a lot of give in it and it sits on the instep but it doesn't really like cradle it or anything it just sort of is there overall kind of leaves you wanting more like you feel it holding you down but you're like it's not really giving you any added benefits it's just meh when it comes to ratchets you want them uniform so if you're going to put a one finger quick release on one you need to put another tab on the other. The toe strap doesn't have it, so you have to grab it from the front. And if you notice, it sticks. I had these prematurely release, slip, and stick. The trifecta of three things you never want to have happen with your ratchets. This did them all. It left me wanting more. Frankly, I don't really trust them that much. The high back is soft. There is a ton of give to it. It does have a big cutout, so it really cradles around the back spine of the boot. But when you drive into this, it leaves you wanting more. There's just not that much rebound and rigidity out of it. The forward lean adjustment is easy to use, but it sticks. It does slide up and down. Overall, it's a high back. Probably was top of the line 20 years ago. The overall flex of this binding is soft, and I mean sloppy soft. You get a lot of lateral play. There's a lot of give through those straps. You don't get a lot of power out of it. If you're just jibbing, it's probably great. But if you're looking for anything that has response, it's not there. It just leaves you wanting more. Like I said, it was sloppy. The overall ride of this binding can be best defined with two words, sloppy and unresponsive. Two things you really just don't want to hear when it comes to a binding. These lack performance. There's nothing good going on. You feel everything with this binding. Like you want to talk foot fatigue, you're going to get it. Who's this binding for? Someone in a rental shop? I don't know. This is one of the worst bindings I've ridden since Rosnell. And those are awful. These are that bad. The heel cup is literally loose. It has given it. The overall performance is sloppy. That toe cap does not really fit many boot shapes or what boot shape it fits, I don't have. I'm assuming it's a North Wave, but it's just, the fact that this binding has a three hole compatible disc, great if you're riding a retro board, but Burton isn't even making three hole anymore. Like what's the point? This disc is the same disc that my Drake's from 1999 had. That's 24 years ago. Why does it still have it? Overall, this binding just left me wanting more. I honestly hated these things. I wanted to throw them in the trash. They were that bad. Comparable bindings, and believe me, these are all better. The Rome Vice, the Union Ultra, the Bent Metal Joint. 
This has been my review of the Drake 50. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Do you own a pair? Are you going to buy a pair? God have mercy on your soul if you're going to buy a pair. Anyways, leave me a comment down below. Let's have a conversation about this binding. If you're new here, remember to subscribe, click the bell, get those notifications. That way you're not missing any of the videos we got coming out for all you snowboarders of the internet. And if you really like what we're doing over here and you want to support us further, swing on over to Angry Snowboarder VIP and become a member. Sure, I could tell you more here, but I got a video over there that explains it so much better. As always, I've been your host, Avery Lefebvre, and I'll see you in another video.